there's always work to do on a farm. Lewis Franklin and his wife Sarah own 13 acres out in Polk County, about a 30 minute drive from Salem. He's familiar with farmland. I joined the army to go see the world. They sent me to Kansas. He served for two years and got out. After 10 years as a civilian, Lewis joined the National Guard unit in Corvallis. So I joined the National Guard and got to see the world. Japan, Germany twice, England, just all over the place. It was quite interesting. Then came 9-11. And we knew something was going to start changing, and it sure did. His unit was activated in 2003. After nine months of training, they went into Iraq. And we were definitely in a Wild West region. It was 2005. No, it was, it was not a good year. His truck was hit with an IED and a rocket-propelled grenade. But luckily, it was an armored truck. So it just it disabled the truck a bit. I was just glad my crew was survived that. Lewis walked away with no obvious wounds, but it didn't mean they weren't there. A deployment to New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina didn't help. My civilian doctor prescribed meds and um, worked with my psychologist um, and started addressing the PTSD at that point. After a second tour in Iraq, he was battling depression and post-traumatic stress. My psychologist and I started talking about a service animal at that point. That's when he met Sarah. He would have a lot more moments of just anxiety. He would just feel it. And she had this nine-month-old puppy named Riley. <laughs> and... Uh, he was a special dog. Sarah already had a knack for training dogs. With her help, Riley became Lewis's service dog six years ago. And this is his normal position. When he's laying down, he'll get on my feet um, so he knows if I move. Riley can sense if Lewis's anxiety level goes up and if he's having a nightmare, which are less frequent now. Come on, Ray. And now he goes with me everywhere. The pair are now being honored by VFW's Still Serving campaign, highlighting the work of veterans beyond their military service. Lewis was the Veterans Club advisor at Lynn Benton College and has testified in front of the Oregon State Legislature advocating for student veterans. He's a total companion. Plus, he makes me laugh. He's friendly. He's happy all the time. Lewis wants his fellow vets to know you don't have to pull yourself up. There's help out there. Get help. The resources are out there, but they can't read your mind. Reach out to them. Reach out. In Polk County, John Goodwin, KGW News.